Welcome to Jazz West, Los Angeles' newest jazz spot, and tonight we're featuring the Mondello Quintet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Bill Barry. Wendell. How are you, Robert? Let me welcome you and all of the guys to the opening night here at Jazz West. Yeah, it's a good club. Oh, isn't it, though? <laughs> it's got some great feel to it. and I have a cab already. Yes. <laughs> That's what we wanted to talk to you about. Uh, you're an old club man, uh, all those years at Birdland in New York. Yeah. What do you think of this for a new organization and the ambience and the acoustics and the whole thing? I think it's great. Isn't it, though? How are the drinks? They're fantastic. Great. <laughs> but wait till the bill comes. Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Wendell Lowe and group are going to go into some other things, but I think for maybe the studio audience out there, we ought to tell you the last song that featured Bill Berry was a song written by a tenor sax player out here in Los Angeles. His name is Lanny Morgan. And the song is Friends, Friends Again. And uh, the beautiful guitar work uh, that Mondell did and Monty Budwig, our bass player, was a beautiful ballad entitled I'll Never Be the Same. And of course, the group opened up with an old bebop song called Lester Leaps In. But I'm going to get off the stage because you guys don't want to see me and hear me. You want to hear the musicians, right? So let's give them back, huh? Wendell Lowe and the quintet.
Very beautiful, Mr. Lowe. You know, people, you got to realize all of the guys up here on the stage tonight are doing so many things. They're doing studio work, they're doing motion picture scoring, they're doing television shows, record dates, and everything else. And it's so great to see five super talents all get together on our little club stage here. So that we've got to be very thankful for. Right? <laughs> Bill Berry. Bill, good to see you. Listen, I, I want to say that, uh, thank you. I know we're opening this club. We've closed more than we've opened. <laughs> I just, God, you ought to know that. Oh, yeah, but the audience loved you. They'll be packed in here tomorrow night. Oh, you know that. Wait. When word gets out that there's a brand new spot in town, they're all going to love it. And it's you guys nice are the Nice parking, ones that, too. Plenty of parking. Oh, there's plenty of spots on the street. Everything. You can't beat it. How's the big band going, Bill? Oh, it's uh, fine. We uh, are working quite often. Uh, we're going to do, uh, what is it, this summer? The Santa Barbara Jazz Festival. Oh. So uh, you all should show up for that. That is Bill Berry and the L.A. Big Band, which is a tremendous organization. you got to do it, okay? <laughs> and our bass player tonight, Monty Budwig. Hey, Monty. Welcome, welcome to Jazz West. Thank you. I'm what do you think this. of our little club, I'm huh? I'm enjoying this tremendously. It's great. Oh, it's great. good to have you. This is just a hobby with You're you. You're my favorite really bass player. Thank you. <laughs> it's a full-time hobby, though. Yeah. What are you working, 48 hours a night? Almost. Yeah. Almost. Uh, you did a lot of big band uh, sessions and big band tours and everything. You were with uh, the Woody Herman Band, the Benny Goodman Band. Right. And you went down to Australia and the Orient with Benny? Uh, Australia with Benny and uh, Japan with Benny Goodman. Mm-hmm. And a lot of one-nighters with Woody. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> Many one-nighters. Well, it's good to have you here, Monty. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much. You, Thank you. And our drummer. Another drummer from the big bands and now working, of course, small dates, small clubs, big bands, record sessions, TV, everything. Nick Ciroli. Nice to see you, Yay, good to see you, Nick. Nick, you can catch. He's another one of the regulars on the Merv Griffin Show. And uh, Nick was uh, for about four years there also with uh, the TJB, weren't you? Yeah, I'll have to live that down. Yeah, oh, no. Look at all of the records you made and all of the, all of the places you went in the world. It's true. I've been all over the place. Yeah, with Herb Alpert and the T1 of Brass. Nick, good to have you here. Thank you so much. <laughs> and our piano player tonight, Lou Levy. Lou? Welcome to Jazz West. What a beautiful thing you did there on Johnny Mandel's Emily. Well, I've been following Johnny Mandel since we were both teenagers. We're about the same age. And when I went to Brooklyn for the first time, Al Cohn and Tiny Con and us, I said, wait till you hear this guy. Mm. And I'm glad to see that he's reaped the rewards of all that talent. Well, it's such a beautiful song. Oh, yeah. It's one of his, one of his many great songs. Lou People is uh, one of the... I guess you could say most sought after uh, piano men, uh, not only for jazz combo work, but uh, working with uh, virtually all of the female vocalists going. Yeah, and some male. You know, I worked with Frank Sinatra a little bit, Tony Bennett quite a bit. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like accompanying because it's, it's just the same as playing for an instrumentalist. You play for Stan Getz, he's so got a beautiful voice yeah. himself. You, know. you worked with Peggy Lee for many years. Uh, yeah, probably mm -hmm. spent more time with Peggy than any other singer, but I put in a Pretty good chunk with uh, Ella Fitzgerald, and mm -hmm. that was great. Oh, yeah. has to be. Yeah, she's something else. And look at the fun you have playing with super sax. Yes, I do, and it keeps me slim. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did some uh, trips. You did a trip to Germany because you recorded over there. Uh, on uh, that was 1978. We did an album over there, and we did two weeks touring, and then I stayed a week and worked uh, with Don Menza and the late Frank Rossellino, and uh, our rhythm section stayed uh, and did a week in Munich and had a great time. Well, we're glad to have you here at Jazz West. Well, I'm glad to be here. I'll be back soon, I hope. I sure hope so. Thank Lou, you. thank you so much. Thank you. Our airtime is going to be fading away soon, so I'm going to get out of here and let you guys close with Sonny Rollins' uh, St. Thomas, right? Good idea. Good idea. <laughs> Thank you. 